Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today, it's day three of the college baseball season. That lineup you saw features the leadoff batter, Taylor Young, who had two home runs yesterday and three base hit. Jaden Hill and Landon Marceau. And that's what Harry high expectations. He is the Conference USA preseason pick of the uh, player of the year. And he hits a humpback liner into right field to extend the inning. Hit a single to right. There's a check swing and a commitment. Netterville goes down on strikes. Cruz, his first pitch swinging and rips one on a line to center field to get the game started. That was a stream of milk out to center field and Dylan Cruz. A ground ball left side. Ray to second for one, on to first for two. Ray, Young, and Brantley turn it over. Well, you can even spell it, too. This ball is hit deep. Tech had four home runs yesterday. It's got five now. Well, how about you, Taylor Young? That's his third home run of the season. Two home runs yesterday, four RBIs, make it three home runs on the season, five RBIs now. He only had five home runs in the entire season last year, which was 17 games for Tech, but out of the gate quickly, he gets an elevated ball up in the zone, and it looked like a high fly ball to left field it was. I didn't think it had to carry Dugas back to the wall, and just far enough, Taylor Young is putting on the show. Part of the game yesterday, very nice play, but then a misconnected first base as Doty. Bates swings and drives it on one hop out to the right fielder. And Louisiana Tech has been ringing the bat here in this inning. Here in the third. Another well-hit ball. This carries deep to right field. It's over the head of Dylan Cruz. The second Tech run of the inning scores. The third Tech run of the inning scores. And Netterville winds up at third base. And here come the Bulldogs. Four well-hit balls off of Labus in the third inning. I think Dylan Cruz thought he was going to run this ball down in the gap, but watch this swing. Nice and balanced inside out. He finds the barrel straight away right field and over the glove of a leaping Dylan Cruz. And once it shot by him right there, there was no doubt two runs were going to score. And Steele Netterville would end up at third base. And boy, nobody out here in the top of the third inning. Three rate that ground ball. The 0-1 is lofted to the backside of the infield and on into center field it goes. Five consecutive base hits as Garcia had just enough on that one. Gonna struck out last time. The runner is on the move. That's lined off of Avis. Uh, Labus' glove, and Doty cannot make a barehanded pickup. That's going to be a base hit. That's chopped on a couple of hops through the right side. The runners advance 90 feet. The bases are loaded. Ben Brantley in the zone. It there was. You Young can't find it, but a productive <laughs> inning for Louisiana Tech. Uniforms made famous years and years and years ago when Carl Mailman Malone was playing basketball. That's what Tech is in right now. This ball is driven deep to center field. Way, way back. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Dylan Cruz rips one to the deepest part of the ballpark. And LSU gets on the board with the second home run of the season for Dylan Cruz. That's the kind of swing you want to see. Two balls, no strikes. You're hunting a fastball, middle of the plate, and Dylan Cruz does not miss this one. And I'm going to tell you something, Lynn. He didn't get all this one. This ball got in just a little bit to the barrel, but he is so strong and powerful. He hits it out the opposite way as it clears a fence by about. He's not a guy who really crowds the plate. He does swing on the first pitch and drives it very deep to right center field. Way, way back. It's a bulldog bomb. Parker Bates is three for three, two singles, and you could chop that one up into about six long singles. Wow. There's the reason why he hit 422 last year, and he had eight home runs in 17 games, and that's the reason why. I'll tell you another little footnote on him. Parker Bates was named preseason first team All-American. There were only two players that were not Power Five Conference 
he's one of them named to a first team All American preseason squad last year. He got hurt early. Young charges and cannot pick it up cleanly. Yeah, that's going to be, be an infield. The 2 2. That never does bite, and uh, Thompson is hit by a pitch, so the Tigers. Oh, you got to take it. There you go. Travinsky ropes it to center field. LSU will stop the base runners, trailing by four. And Travinsky pitched yesterday. This is his debut. He does have the green light. He rams it deep to left center field. It's off the glove of the left fielder McConnell. One Tiger scores. Now a throwback to second base, and they have the runner out. LSU slammed on the brakes late as the runners were circling. And Hampton had rounded second by a big margin and was out on the throwback. Yeah, Cruz didn't get all this, but it gets it in on the barrel a little bit. And I'm not sure what's going on here with Hampton. There is no way Hampton could think the guy in front of him was going to score and he was going to be third base. Because you got to freeze on a ball that's going to be caught, right? You can't advance the next. Ground ball left side. The play at second base is made with Ray to Young. This ball is headed deep into the night. Way, 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 way back it goes. Another home run. Hunter Well smashes one over the left field bleachers. And Louisiana Tech continues to blast the baseball here in Baton Rouge. Hunter Wells sent it deep into the night. Well, Tech just keeps answering back. Every time LSU gets a little bit of momentum and scores a run, Tech answers right back. This time it's a long ball. But LSU has five hits. Cruz at the top of the order has three of them. And now Beloso gets into the hit column. That is hit number six for LSU. Arnold hits it sharply and it skitters through the infield. Back to back, sharply hit singles by Ellis Sitz in two games. A hanging curveball is shot the other way. Beloso will stop at third, and the Tigers have the bases loaded for the second against top 25 opponents over the last four or five go. years. This goes way, way back into the night. You can pucker up. And kiss that baby goodbye. Gavin Dugas clears the bases with a grand slam home run. And just like that, this Tiger team has come back with four to make it a 6-6 game. Well, that's exactly why Gavin Dugas is in the lineup, because he can change the game in one swing. And boy, did he ever change this game with that swing right there. First ball, fastball, hunting after the pitcher conference. Got the pitch he was looking for, and boy, he is fired up. And this has changed this game six to six now. And Dugas is literally hopping around the bases. His first base hit of the season is a grand slam home run. Burrows against in-state competition. This ball has hit a long way. Back into the night it goes. Way back. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Jordan Thompson smashes his first home run as a Tiger. It comes following the grand slam by Dugas. And LSU, like Mount Vesuvius, erupts in the sixth. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the year, too, freshman, how about this? Might as well just leave the yard. He does well out of the yard out toward left center field. Five straight hits. Zach Arnold. Ground ball left side. It's under the glove of the shortstop, Ray. He got twisted up. Didn't know whether to go backhand or forehand and tried to make a backhanded. They were pretty good, but I was pretty bad that night, by the way. Right through the wickets, this ball goes. And the Tigers get some insurance on back-to-back -back errors. 
by Alex Ray, and that's very unusual for this stellar shortstop. Ball hit right to really for a double play. Could have been a double play chance right here. Everybody is safe. The second runner coming in. That ball, I think he's going to be put back. Yeah, that ball. Yeah, they'll, they'll put him back. Kicked into the dugout. Second time. He drew a base on balls last time. A chop to third. The throw to the plate is high. And the runner is safe. Boy, the wheels have just come off for Tech. I mean, you get two errors. The throw is just a little bit up the ladder. You see the catcher have to go out. And the time he comes back down with. He's been aboard now. All this will carry to right field. Netterville is there. The tag made at third. The throw comes back to the infield. A sacrifice fly by Doty. LSU adds its fourth run of the inning. And all four have come without a base. A smash to left. And for the third time, Morgan is re That's through on the right side. Drost in his first at bat. Drives one sharply into right field on the ground. It's win all three of theirs. Ground ball left side off the third baseman's club. One run scores, LSU gets some more. And Dugas drives in another run. That's a fair ball. One Tiger scores. Another one coming to the plate. Another one being waved around. Wyatt stops at second base with a three run double. How about you, big fella? Base is loaded. He just smokes one right down the third base line. I mean, out in front of it, but was able to keep it fair. Gets the barrel on it, hits a dart right down the line, right past the third baseman, Hunter Wells. You knew the first two were going to score. The question was, could you score all the way from first base? Jordan Thompson, and he really easily does. Throw comes in, but Thompson's there in plenty of time. And LSU plays its first road game. A base hit to right. That is the first base hit of the season for Cade Doty. Yeah, and first. And there's his second base hit. South Carolina and LSU are the only two right now. A run scores, and the out made at first base. Out to right field, and it's going to carry into the arms of Cruz, and this one is over.